The community and family members will never forget what happened to Julian Townsend back in 2012. Now convicted murderer Joseph Barton could pay for the crime for the rest of his life. Three years after the crime, a murder case is brought to a close. When you do your thorough review, you will come to one conclusion, and that is Joseph Barton is guilty of aggravated murder. And it didn't take long for the jury to come to the same conclusion. 35-year-old Joseph Barton, now guilty of aggravated murder. I feel that they were fair and just and listened to the evidence, and I feel that it was the right verdict. It's a decision that's been a long time coming for the victim's family. I thought it was horrific what happened to my dad because he was such a good man. For seven days, both sides argued about October 15th, 2012. That's when a trailer on Ouija Road was set on fire. And inside, the beaten, stabbed, shot, and dismembered body of Julian Townsend. But they did agree on one thing. Yes, there is pain and there is sadness in this room. What happened to Mr. Townsend was horrible. Absolutely horrifying. There it is. Emotionally, physically, it's been a lot. Our cameras rolled as a seemingly emotionless Barton took the stand in his own defense. My question is, did you murder Julian Townsend? No, I did not. Did you beat him? No. Did you stab him? No. Did you shoot him? No, I did not. Did you cut up his body? No. <clears throat> did you set him on fire and burn his trailer down? No, I did not. And they were rolling again as the now convicted murderer was taken away in cuffs. This time, his emotions clearly on display. I don't have hatred or anger towards him. I refuse to allow someone to have that power over me. I just don't want this to happen to anyone else or anyone else to suffer the way I have through this or my family. A motive in the case was never revealed. Misty Whitlatch, the victim's daughter, says she hopes Barton is sentenced to life in prison without parole. A judge will make that decision on December 29th. Reporting in the newsroom, Erica Moke, News 9.